Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create a counter app using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. You can increase or decrease the number, reset it back to zero just with a click. It's a beginner friendly project to practice HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And by the end, you will understand how to update UI dynamically with JavaScript. To begin with, we have imported a font called Robotomono from Google Fonts. This gives our app a clean and coding inspired look. Next, we have linked the external CSS file called style.cs. We have included an external script file called script.js. With the basic setup complete, let's move on and start writing the HTML structure for a counter. Inside the body, I'm creating the layout of our app. We have a container that holds a heading, the current counter value, and three buttons. Each button has a unique ID so we can target them in JavaScript for later interaction. I'm starting with a basic CSS reset. This removes the default margin and paddings from all the elements and sets the box sizing to border box so that the padding and border don't affect the element's actual size. Press and set the box sizing to border box so that the padding and border don't affect the element's actual size. For the body, we set the font family to Roboto Mono. We set the background color to a nice bright green color. We set the display to flex and align items and justify content more to the center. This centers the container of our project. We also need the height to be set to 100 VH. Next, we start by styling our container element. We start by setting the text align to center. We are giving it a white background to contrast against the green page. The padding adds space to inside the box and border radius softens the corners. The box shadow creates a subtle shadow, making the card float visually. The heading has some space below it, and a dark grey color for good readability. The counter display is styled to be large and bold, making it the focal point. The margin adds space above it and below it. The 
Now we style the buttons. All the buttons share same way style. Padding make them look bigger and easier to click. The border is removed for a flat look and the border editor adds soft corners. The transition adds a smooth effect when we hover over the buttons. Each button has its own color to indicate its purpose. Red color for decrease. Green color for increase. And finally, yellow color for reset. To keep things organized, I am writing the JavaScript in a separate file instead of embedding it directly into the HTML. So I will create a new file called script.js and link it to our HTML using script tag. We now start by writing the JavaScript code. To begin with, we are selecting elements from our HTML using their IDs. Counter display is the element where the current count will be shown. Then we have three buttons increase, decrease, and reset. We are storing them in constants so that we can attach event listeners to them in the next step. Next, we declare and initialize the counter variable. This variable will store the current count that we want to display and update every time a user clicks on the button. Now, I am adding an event listener to the increase button. This listens for the click event. When the button is clicked, the counter increases by 1 using counter plus plus. We then call a function named update display to show the new value on the screen. Similarly, the decrease button also listens for the click. On click, we decrease counter by 1 using counter minus minus.
again we call the function name update to update display to show the new value on the screen next the reset button works just like the others but instead of incrementing or decrementing it sets the counter back to zero and then updates its displayed value Finally, I am defining the update display function. This function takes the current value of the counter variable and sets it as a text content of the counter display element. This is how we keep the UI in sync with the internal counter value every time something changes. And that's it for our project. We have completed a simple counter app using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We have learned how to set up the basic structure, style, and layout, and add functionality with JavaScript. Don't worry if you are new to this. Each project we do together will help you build up the skills step by step. So keep coding, stay consistent, and don't hesitate to visit any step if required.